Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I am, I may sound a little tired because I am having the absolute worst, worst headache today. So we're going to try to build stuff. I can't guarantee that we'll be successful, but I'm going to do my best. Um, I figured that you would rather have an episode than not. So here we go. Um, I've been looking at our map a little bit and thank you everyone in chat who mentioned, and I kind of forgot this, that the assembler machines can also make things like plastic. They can do like chemical plant type operations. So I've decided that there, there's a lot of nice coal over here and this uh, station might be better making um, plastic. Oh, there's coal here too. Hello, coal. Uh, but there's more here. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is make red circuits maybe over here where the blue circuity thing is and instead make plastic over here. So I want to change these guys and we're going to go explore a little bit so that we can um, just see how big that other coal patch is. In fact, maybe we'll move them all. I don't know. Um, it's like it's funny because like when I when I did some exploration before or just kind of looked at our map and see what we want to do today, I was like, oh, yeah, let's do this. And then all of a sudden, oh, I noticed this during <laughs> the video. So things happen. It's a thing. All right, here we go. We'll have red circuits maybe living here. Uh, I think maybe I hope. And then blue circuits, it really doesn't matter where the blue circuits are. Um, they could be down here. In fact, that would create less traffic for the green circuits going, you know, partly to the left and partly to the right. That actually might be a good thing to do. All we need for those is some sulfuric acid, which, hmm, I suppose we could make it, we could even make it around here. And then we're going to need, I think we need the iron for sulfuric acid. Is that right? And then for the blue chips, we need green chips and red ones. I think that's all we need for blue chips. Let me see. Because my brain might have completely fallen out. Oh, we haven't even gotten them researched yet. Hello. Um, okay, advanced. No, they're called processing units. There we go. There they are. Yep. Okay. Yeah, they need sulfuric acid, green chips, and red chips. And I apologize for calling them chips. They look like chips to me, but um, <clears throat> they are circuits, technically. <laughs> I know some people will be like, no, there's circuits, KOS. Um, so anyway, uh, I want to, we want to extend our railroad lines up here, maybe explore this area a little bit as well. So let's get our train loaded up. Uh, let's find our building train. Here it is. Does it have stuff on it? Let's see. Oh, and somebody mentioned to me that nanobots actually take rails from the train cars. And I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. So what we're going to do also is put away all of these chemical plants because I don't think we're going to need them. At least not for the plastic part. Um, so here we go. It's very hard to move at such a fast rate of speed, but it's fine. All right. We're just going to adjust here. We have some pipes. The other thing that a couple of people mentioned to me, and this is might be relevant, it might not be relevant, I don't know, is that when you have pipe or when you have um, containers like storage tanks and they are directly connected to a pump, the pumps move liquids very, very fast. So these are going to empty a train really quickly um, into these, this nice thing. Pipes have a throughput. Uh, limit. So when we're talking about something like our refinery, I'm wondering if I should directly hook up the tank to the input areas instead of having pipes. Uh, now that's going to mean less beacons around it, but I would only do like one, one tank and then maybe a line up so we could also fit the beacons in here. So let me know what you think about that idea. This we might do the same thing to be honest we could put the storage tanks uh there as well i don't know i don't know if it's really necessary we'll have to see okay we're getting more solid fuel yay this is great i can't wait till we have stack inserters i really miss those okay so here we're going pretty well are we having issues what's going on with these guys these are not this has wonder if they're not getting enough, maybe not enough light oil here. I don't know. It doesn't really matter that much. Oh, I need some tanks down there. So, oh, that's another thing I need to make sure and bring with me. Let me just change to shopping speed. Um, let's see. Tanks. There we go. 
can never have enough of those. Uh, looks like we have enough nanobot thingies and we, oh well, we have some, some nanobot thingies, not a lot. And we'll get some more, I think, because it's never good to run out of them. Uh, we could use a few more lamps, though I think we have some in the train. Do we have belts in the train? I should bring the train back instead of it being all the way down here. I don't, didn't mean to leave it behind. I really should put some lights and stuff along this uh, trackway. Be kind of nice, especially when we're in the dark like this. Oh, I can't wait to get construction robots. I know there are lights automatically programmed into the mall. Uh, I could put some balloon lights down though, just so we have a little bit of vision here. Let's put one up here as well so it'll light maybe some of that track there. I'm going to put them so that they're not obscuring a chest or an assembler because that would annoy me. Okay, these are fine. These already have the lights. Okay, now we have light. That's good. What do we need specifically? We have no inserters, so inserters could be a good thing to take with us. Um, miners. Yes, we're going to need miners. 500. Well then. Um, belts. I don't have any belts at the moment. So let's go back to the train. I just load these things into the train here. Um, well then, um, I'm thinking like, where do I want to put this stuff? I, I think I'll put half the belts in here. Okay. And then I'll, I'll put the miners in here and do we need extra track? Yeah, maybe we'll need extra track. I'll take all of it and then load up the train with the track. Okay, good. Um, uh, we need to get rid of this pistol. Okay, that's full. Let's get the pistol out, the ammunition out. Anything else that needs to go? Light poles, pickaxe, um, stone. Yeah, always stone. And the, the little box we can keep. All right, anything else that we want to take with us? I can't really think very well at the moment. Um... Do we have train pieces? We have three cargo wagons, which is not a lot. Let's go and grab a couple of those. Do we have signals? Yes, we've got piles of signals, which is very nice. We need some of these and we need these guys as well. All right, I think we can proceed. Proceed with caution. Oh, I have some of these already, the liquid wagons. Um. Yeah, I think we're good. I think I think this should be a good first go in any case. Like, let's see where we have things going on the map. We need to go, looks like just straight upward and then possibly go at an angle here. So we have room for this station around the, the thing. Or maybe I should just build the whole outpost first and then connect the station. But I do want to get the train closer so that I have materials available more quickly. Okay, let's just go up there and see how we can get on with this. All right, there we go. Rotate. Boom. Nanobots, go, go, go. Yay. Sometimes I wish you could change like the direction the nanobots worked. Like I wish they would work from bottom up. That would be kind of handy. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Come on. I feel like it would probably be faster if I walked, but then we'd have to go back and get the train. That's okay, though. We're kind of relaxed today. It's one of those days. It's like just a, a lonely day on the desert where all that's around is the rocks and the sand, and the trees, the dead trees that once were living trees, but somehow the climate changed and the wood is still there, getting petrified under the sun. Dried out, dismal. And now we've gone into story time mode. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I just thought I would make it slightly more interesting than just going through this. This is not terribly exciting, I admit. Um, but soon enough, we will have the ability to have our own robots. Okay, this is probably too close, 
but we're just going to drive the train up so that we can have all this stuff available to us. So this is going to be our plastic station, um, I believe. Let's go and check it out. Let's go to run mode or explore mode, maybe we'll call it. Ooh, that's nice. Look at this. Okay, so that's that. Is there anything else good up here? Let's see. There's a big lake. Okay. Um, I'm just like navigating via the mini map, to be honest. Here we go. Is this coal? Oh, yes, there's coal here too. Hello, coal. All right. Is there anything else that's... Oh, and s several people told me they kind of dug into the mod settings and they figured out that the, um, <laughs> the refinery is like a 2% chance of spawning. Uh, and there's apparently some very ca a complicated calculation. Okay, there's another one of these guys here. Um, but you have to have like something ridiculous, like 64 assemblers plus smelters to even get one refinery. That's like, oh my God. So I, I hope that that rate will be increased because it's not just about how many you need per assemblers. It's also about where it's convenient to have one. Cause I really would rather not trek all of this oil down all the way here. Or is it here? It's all the way down here. Look at how far that is. Um, so I hope the mod creator will, will make that drop rate higher or spawn rate, whatever you want to call it. Uh, because I've only found one on the entire map. All these other little um, cyan colored ones, they're all assemblers, not um, refineries. So yeah, that's because, you know, you would not have a, a separate maker thing for everything. Because, I mean, you're not going to make iron pickaxes en masse. You're, you're really not. I mean, as much as you might love nanobots, you're just not going to do that. Um, or have like several different factories, just like five different ones to make nanobots or something. So um, I think that that ratio is a little bit off and I hope that gets changed. Uh, okay, so here we are at Plastic Land. I, oh, we do have power. This is great. Um, <laughs> imagine that it came with a blueprint. All right, here we go. Let's shove all that stuff in there. Oh, we can recycle the coal into here too. Ooh, we need more engines. Uh-huh. All right, well, we're gonna go do a radar run. Uh, let's just do that real quick. Put radars down so we can see all of our track. I love being able to uh, check on things from afar and change things from afar as well. Excuse me, once we have bots in our system. Oh, what do we just need? Oh dear, my brain is not functioning at all today. Um, we needed... <laughs> Something that I can't remember. We needed something from the inventory. Oh, engines, engines. That's what it was for pumps. Yes, we do need uh, some engines. Um, shopping speed again. Let's see. Where are those engines? They are somewhere where we need them. Ah, yes, by the train stuff. Okay, cool. Take 50 of them. And then we'll go back to run mode. There we go. Do, 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 do. And here we are. Lovely. I like these balloon lights on the on the tracks, by the way. They look really good. Okay, so it looks like we only have two inputs for petroleum, but that should be enough, I'm hoping. So let's go back to sort of um, shopping speed or sort of making speed. We're going to make plastic. And what we need for plastic is coal and petroleum. So what is the ratio for this stuff? Okay, 1k petroleum gas to 50 coal. You don't actually need a lot of coal for this, but we're just going to plan out these. Oh, I need to go back to the train to get the miners. Let's do that first and drop off most of the tracks instead in, in here. Oh, I wonder if they, they took totally from the train and not from my inventory. Well, that's quite interesting, isn't it? All right. All right. That's fine. I want to get the miners. I want to get as many miners as I can here that's all of them i guess and we need belts too all right we may have to give up on belts for now uh let's put some of this copper cable and stuff miscellaneous junk in here that i don't need i'm not going to handcraft anything if i can help it uh if we need to we'll just come back and grab the materials okay cool that should work let's go ahead and get our our mining blueprint sorted out here it is we may be short on power poles. In fact, I'm pretty sure we're going to be very short on power poles. 
but it's okay. We're not worried. We're okay. And then I think I'll move these. Oopsies. Um, <laughs> I've forgotten how to move these. Oh dear. Um, okay. We do this and that. Okay. I'm, I'm just used to playing another game where the shortcuts are slightly different. Okay. Cool. 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 All right. These are going to be just here. And we're not terribly worried about coverage or anything like this. We're just going to plop them down. Okay. Should I add the second patch? Hmm. I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it's really necessary to add the second patch at all. Um, yeah, let's just take these guys off and we'll leave it at that. Okay, and we'll clean up some of this. Oopsies. No. Okay, nanobots, please do what you need to do. All right, got to clean up a lot of this stuff. Okay, so much, so much. <laughs> Unfortunately, the uh, sometimes dubious benefit of using big blueprints and these kind of irregular patches. Okay, it should be okay though. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right. And we'll just spot clean these guys off. That's looking okay. These guys are all actually necessary. This one is not. Um, that one is not. Take these out and then just do this kind of gentle removal of all the stuffs. So we don't waste what we have. It's quite an important thing not to waste what we have. Uh, this can go this one also. These guys, all of these guys can go. I think 6k is actually a decent amount of stuff there. Um, this one can go though. These guys, I don't think we need this one at all. There we go. Yeah, we don't need it. Okay, cool. Very cool. And we'll get rid of these extra power poles because we're going to connect to them via the long distance poles instead. All right, so what are we short on? Okay, we'll just walk around and let the nanobots do their thing. Looks like we just didn't walk in this middle area, so they had no idea that there was more to do. They would have done it if they could. Oh, yes, they would. Um, but <laughs> unfortunately, they didn't know better. Okay, I think we just need, mostly we need power poles for this whole situation. Um, looks like we have a couple of columns that are a bit short. So we're going to just extend these and put them together. Okay, so that's one line. We need to have something like, what, 52 per thing for for red belts. Oopsies, I looked at the wrong thing. I looked at how many belts there were instead of how many how many um, miners. That was kind of silly of me. Uh, but also, they do not have to fill the lines entirely. It really isn't that necessary. I just want to kind of reduce the amount of... Um, of lines we have to bring over. So we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Sounds okay. That's fine. I think we'll just get six down and, and that'll be okay. Not terribly concerned about this at all. Um, hmm. Do we have power poles? We have a few. Not that many. Do we have here? No. We may have to go back to the base and get them. Okay. That's okay though. We're not. It's not something that can't be fixed. Okay, so here we have five coming down. I think that we'll have six. 
We're going to blueprint this area here. Oopsies. Forgot to shift click over those rocks. Darn it. All right, come on, nanobots. Go, 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 go. Okay, and here is our production there. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Good. Now that these guys can come over like this, possibly. Oh, don't. Oh, no, 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 no. I really didn't want you to do that. No, no. Okay, cool. I'm just so sloppy today. My my brain is just not functioning at all well. But it's okay. It's better to be here than not here, I suppose. I mean, here presenting for you at the moment. All right. So here we have this. And then what we could do is just something quite easy. And grab this corner like this. Go like this. And then we can grab a segment oopsies and then gently sort of fill it in where we can nice okay great there's our corner now let's switch to another nanobot gun so we can proceed further come on nanobots go excellent perfect i will copy these guys and then have them No. Do not thing. Do not. It looks like we don't even have six lines. Well then. <laughs> okay. Whoopsies. We might have made too many. Oh, no, we didn't. Look what else we have. We have more up here. Hello. Okay. This one is a long line. We're going to get these guys down um, as well. Okay, and then this one got to go here. And then remove these extra belts there. Kind of curious how long this uh, coal area will last. Probably a, a very long time, I would imagine. How much do we have here? 12 million coal. And this one has 7.9 million. So it's just about the same as this one. This has 18. So this one has almost 20 between them. But it's, uh, how much is it to make? It's one coal per two plastic bars. So that's like 40 million plastic bars. That's quite a lot of plastic bars. <laughs> quite a lot of plastic bars. Okay, so we're going to take this over there. That's going to be fine. We'll change it if it's necessary. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the long distance power poles and take them down to this area. I do want to go and grab some, some more power poles. Let's go to run speed again here. And we will go and pick up the power poles from the mall. Hello mall. So I think it's going to be very hard for me to adjust when I build the new mall. Like when I design the new mall for myself, because I'm so used to like I know where things are, you know, in this mall. It's like, I know them. I know where they live. Um, so in a new mall, that's going to be quite a lot of adjustment period, no doubt. But it should be okay. We have plenty of miners still. Um, I can drop off the junk stuff here as well. Anything else we need? I think we're okay. I hope we're okay. Oh, we have no iron chests. Oh, 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 I'm glad we've thought about this because we need some we need lots of them why are we only making one stack how silly of me okay let's take some of this iron and we can also craft some wow that's not a lot to craft assembler oh my god i'm in i'm in run mode not shop mode but i could go down here and run along there we go players inventory full good 87 should be enough should be enough for a few train stations. Um, I guess we should plan to have coal brought in 
through a train station just in case and i mean it will go down eventually uh it's going to be used up all of this coal so we will plan to have coal delivery in and then we need to have plastic delivery coming out so those are the things we need to think about right now okay let's go into shopping mode or building mode whatever we want to call this i definitely like calling it shopping mode um if you couldn't tell <laughs> Okay, so, but I also want to leave room for beacons. I'm going to reverse these guys. I just wanted to place one so that I know the length that we're talking about here. Wait, did I just delete those? Please don't tell me I deleted those. No. Oops, excuse me. I keep pressing the wrong button. No, no, they're there. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I thought I deleted them, but I thought they were gone. So, this goes right into there. Ugh. But it should be okay. That should be alright. Well, we can even align the beacons differently or put this off to the side if we need to. Should be fine. We have an input for uh, petroleum here, and then we have one there. What I think we might want to do is how much petroleum does this need a thousand and it takes 50 seconds at crafting speed 40 uh, those are many numbers uh, I can't calculate that right now but I'm wondering if we should just have one one tank here feed it with a couple of pipes or even have a couple of tanks maybe we should have three tanks here and then feed it from the train station so then it can just like flow automatically there i could oh i could put a pump there too it's another thing i can do i can put a pump to force stuff in from the tanks or pull from the tanks let's see if we can do that let's just have four tanks there and then we'll have another couple of tanks where the uh stuff is loaded on the train so here we have our outputs. We've got eight of these. Oh, we have more coal inputs down there too. Right. Now then, we have to design our train station. Um, let me look at the landscape around here a little bit. Oh, it's just open land. We can do anything we want. That's fairly nice. All right, let's get our radars up. Radars. There they are. I keep pressing X accidentally and my hot bar gets miffed and con confused we need to connect our power too but it should be okay um all right so i think this might even be a good spot to end the episode because we don't uh, we're we the train station is going to take a while and we don't have that many minutes left so anyway thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and we'll build the train station next time. Bye-bye.